10 threes in just 23 minutes for Sam Hauser. Celtics get to win 130 to 104. It's Celtics postgame live. Tom Giles, Chris Forsberg, Eddie House with you. And uh, the Celtics really just cruising a victory. Obviously, have that 28 point lead at the break, but, uh, you know, basically just coasting through the second half as well. Eddie, what'd you like most about this win here tonight? Well, I love that Sam Hauser was out there just getting money. I don't like the fact that he got injured at the end, but the way he was just shooting that basketball as a shooter, I love it. I, I watched him in Portland and Utah. It's the same shot every time. The trajectory, the rotation, and the fact of the matter is he had a chance to break the record. That's what I'm upset at, yeah. really, is that he had a chance to really break the record. He had it going. Guys were finding him, and he was feeling himself. Out. That, that's the biggest takeaway from this game because – the Washington Wizards are who the Washington Wizards are. And, you know, at the end of the day, they, they're at the bottom of, of the league for a reason. Not a very good basketball team. But we went out there, took care of business. And I love the fact that Sam Hauser was able to go out there and, and you know, and let it fly. It's a total bummer for Sam. The one other thing I will say, we've heard Jason Tatum make a whole, a whole thing about, you know, playing Monday nights on League Pass in Charlotte. He also deserves credit for being one of the only starters out there on a Sunday night against a terrible D.C. team on League Pass. And because I love that he just wants to play, that the team has to pretty much beg him to take days off. There was a girl in the crowd, they showed her early on, that said, I postponed my surgery to be here tonight and see Tatum. Like, that's why a lot of fans show up. That's why you hear so much green in the crowd. I respect that Jason Tatum wants to be out there, that he is the ultimate hooper, that he just wants to play. And I, I do think they will find spots for him over the finish line of this season, if nothing more than to calm everybody who fears something like what happened to Sam Hauser and an injury. But, man, give Tatum credit to go out there, 18 points in the first quarter, set the tone on this game. Not that it was really ever in question, but I just respect that on a night a lot of guys could have downshifted and decided to take the night off. Tatum wanted to be out there. 30 points for Jason Tatum, 30 points for Sam Hauser, and then you had 14 apiece for three other guys, including Peyton Pritchard, who also had 13 assists. He's standing by with Abby Chin. Peyton, no KP, no JB, no D White, no problem. <laughs> what were you guys looking to work on out here tonight? Uh, I don't know if there's something we were trying to work on, just to you know play the right type of basketball and what we've been trying to do all year. Obviously, Sam had an unbelievable night. I, th I truly think he probably would have broke the record tonight, but uh, he'll get it another time. But it was a good team win. Yeah. What was that like being on the floor with him? How did you guys keep finding him? I mean, I tell people all the time. In my opinion, Sam is the the best shooter. In the, like he's in the top in the shooters in the league. Uh, so for us, it's like anytime he's open, we got to find him because it, it's almost automatic for sure. I mean, you know what that feels like. <laughs> You've been there. A double double for you tonight. What was your mindset coming in? Just make the right plays. I mean, you know, I, I feel like I'm a point guard. Uh, uh, like my game is a point guard. Sometimes I play off ball, but like when I have the ball in my hands, I'm always trying to get my guys easy shots. When I can score, I'll score. But just play efficiently and uh, make the right plays. You did that. A career high in assists. How would you describe that connection between you and Luke? Oh man, yeah, that's my dog. So he's he's always there to like help me out if I get stuck. You know, just throw it by the rim. He's gonna finish it. So he took a a, a big step this year. He's playing tremendous. So. So has that entire reserve unit. But you guys have won four straight here. What do you like best about the way you're playing? Uh, just like we play in the right way. We playing for each other. You know, it's somebody's night. Uh, it's a different guy's night every night. So, and that, that's a beautiful basketball right there. Peyton, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much, Abby. Meanwhile, you take a look at some of the history of this win and some of the numbers. And these numbers presented by the Massachusetts Health Connector. Losing Mass Health? Need health insurance for any reason? Visit the Massachusetts Health Connector. Act now and stay covered at mahealthconnector.org. Okay, so the 30 points for Sam Hauser, career high. Uh, the 10 three-pointers in 23 minutes. And you heard, uh, of course, Drew Carter mentioned this. Fewest minutes to make 10 threes in NBA history. The 13 assists for Payne Pritchard. That's also the most off of the bench by a Celtics since 1994. It's 45 points in the first quarter. I mean, you just you list them off. 80 plus points. Chris, this one maybe is my favorite. The 80 plus points <laughs> in the first half, the, that's the third time that's happened in the last month and a half. It didn't happen once for 32 years. I mean, you did see basketball in the 90s for the Celtics, right? Like, I mean. That is true. Okay. That but, is absolutely but true. But the fact that it hasn't happened since any time, you know, in this in this 10 year stretch here, especially since 08 and so that, that's an impressive. All right, let's bring in uh, Scal and Drew right now. And oh, there they are. My guys, is Drew giving a nice little wave? Uh, Do you enjoy that one, what we saw from uh, the Celtics here on St. Patrick's Day? 
My goodness. I mean, everyone's wearing green. St. Patrick's Day. I went out and panic bought this thing so I could be wearing some green because I knew Abby Chin was going to bring it. Didn't realize Scal wouldn't at all. Um, but look, I mean, tons of Celtics fans in the house, and they got a show today. Yeah, I mean, the way that they played with Sam Hauser moving around, knocking down shots like that, they're impossible to guard. And it is cool when you see guys are out and other players get opportunities and they have career nights. You just know. And for me, it's always like those. there's some haters out there that don't understand how good the Celtic bench is, whether it be Cornette and how much he's improved, Sam Hauser, Peyton Pritchard, Osei Brissett. I mean, like across the board, these guys have delivered all year. And I just think it's, it's really nice when they get a chance to play and they do something like what we saw today. If there are any haters out there, I look at them and I say, bench, the Celtics can play one through ten no question they got a great bench no question all right then scale who's the who's the guy who's made the biggest progress like i mean sam obviously always could knock down sh shots but has avoided the slumps this year you got peyton being a positive every time he's out there you got Cornette looking like a completely different player from when he first arrived here which of those bench guys has made the biggest strides I think, and this is only from my perspective, I wasn't sure about Luke Cornett being a rotational player in the playoffs. I'm pretty certain that he's a rotational player in the playoffs. And if it's not for us, it's for somebody. Because, like, Cornette owns his space, and that's the most important thing. Can you own your space? Can you rebound your position? Can you defend your position? And Cornette's doing all those things. And I just feel like he's bouncier than he was when he started. He, he, I think he's reading the game better. I, I think his improvement from what I thought he was to what he is has been the biggest jump for me. I agree. I just want to show some love to Peyton Pritchard, too, who goes from wanting out to signing a contract to – becoming, you know, one of their better bench players and putting up his first double-double of the season today. So shout-out to Crypto P. Yeah, real quick, could you give me a quick smile? Could you smile for me real quick one time? Yeah. Okay, yeah, what's yellow up? and blue make yeah. green. Yellow and blue Yellow and blue make green. He good right now. <laughs> You know, <laughs> hey, Yo. Eddie, Eddie, I was really happy. I was really happy. For, I was really happy for you yesterday, man. Seeing yeah. your son like that, seeing you like that, that was that was uh, that was amazing, man. Absolutely amazing. I can only imagine what I, it felt I, like for you. I, hey, crazy! I lost my voice, man. My voice is crazy right now. <laughs> yeah. But real talk, though, yeah. it, it, it is super crazy. But re, I, I'm I'm with you on, on Luke Cornett. Like everybody was talking about our bigs. Like who's gonna be that guy to step up? Lou Cornett can give you 12 to 15 playoff minutes. And there's no doubt about that, that he's be able to, he's out there and showed yeah. himself that he's serviceable. Also Peyton Pritchard being able to go out there and say, I could set the table for guys. I don't have to just be a scorer. I could also set the table for guys. So I think that this game, not just this game, but throughout this season, we have showed our depth. People are lacking on that because they don't watch the Celtics night in and night out. All they do is watch the highlights on ESPN. But this team is extremely deep, and they're going to have to rely on the bench players to win the games. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. And I think it. I think it's. Uh, I think it's really difficult for people to understand when you're playing with six guys who are established as the Celtic guys for you to come in your role. And as Eddie says. I'm pretty certain that Hauser, Pritchard, and Cornette are all superstars in their role. Hey, Giles. Hey, yep. Giles, real quick, before we go, can I do one thing? You got it, man. Got? We, ain't doing a, we ain't doing this. Yeah, Happy no. birthday, partner. We're not doing this. Happy birthday. Oh, oh, red Velvet. Birthday. Red Velvet. Tomorrow, Eddie. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> I'm hey, going to sell the game, hey, and hey, I'm on chill hey, mode. Birthday, I'm on bro. chill mode. Thanks, uh, man. Hey, Happy appreciate birthday, it, everybody. Buddy. Happy you birthday, got it. Big Happy birthday, Cal.